Well, thankfully, the Volusia County Sheriff's Office tells us that neither man had anything too badly wrong with them. Both of them are reporting minor injuries. Now, certainly it was a bumpy end of the ride in this airplane. But again, the damage to the plane is not all that significant, and both men should fully recover. Before the single engine plane ended up in this precarious position, a young girl noticed something wasn't right. I saw a plane that was really, really low, and then it just kept getting lower and lower. And then he came over here and just hit and flipped. She was able to get her mother's attention as well. She said, Mom, that plane's going really low. And I looked over and it just kept going down, 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 and boom. Uh, it, it hit and it flipped. The Volusia County Sheriff's Office says pilot Herbert Weens told them there was an engine issue near DeLeon Springs and he needed to land. A miscalculation of the slope of the field led to the buckling of the front landing gear, the nose of the plane digging into the ground, and over it went. Henry says the pilot was being held upside down in his seatbelt and had to be cut out. The passenger door was already open and Kenneth Burnell was on his way out. The 89-year-old guy was actually crawling out of the the window, uh, the door had busted open. Yep, you weren't hearing things. She said 89. And this flight, according to what he apparently told Henry, was his birthday present. The one guy was 89 years old, and he said that was his birthday present today was the plane ride. The FAA describes the plane as a Stoll CH-750 light sport utility aircraft, and the FAA confirms it is investigating. Now again, both men received minor injuries, but they were taken to the hospital in Delance so they could both be checked out. And again, the FAA is saying it will investigate, and it is characterizing what happened here as a hard landing. Reporting live in DeLeon Springs, Volusia County, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News.